In this live coding session, let's make some styling changes to our Swift UI app. And since it's styling and not behavior, it makes sense not to use TDD. Let's get rolling. Hey, it's been a while. It's good to be back. Uh, welcome to the quality coding live stream, live coding, all the mistakes, all the time, all live. Welcome, Mud Shark and Grant, and a couple other folks are here. Say hello in the chat. Um, yeah, it's good to be back. Uh, sorry about all the travel. It's been nuts. Uh, in six weeks, I have been on basically opposite sides of the world. And uh, hey, Sub Digital, welcome. Good to have you. All right, I did have a good time in the UK. Uh, yeah, and that, that was the last two weeks. Uh, speaking of travel, just, uh, heads up there. I have another trip coming up next week. We'll be off. And then I hope to settle down and have a summer where I'm not going anywhere for a while. So uh, hopefully this, uh, this stream will become, get back to, on track to being a regular thing. Um, yeah, the UK Swift UI was great. Uh, I, it, it's a really great conference and y'all should, uh, try to get there next year. Uh, da, 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 da. let's see. Yeah. Here's me in action ready to, Hey Al, welcome. Uh, so here I'm getting ready to teach, a. Uh, well, it turned out to be a very small workshop uh, on test-driven development on the skills you need to do test-driven development. Uh, hey, first time chatter, Dragon Dust, welcome. Uh, so I'm, I was teaching uh, the skills you need to do test-driven development, things like um, recognizing code smells, refactoring, um, on down to working, how to work with legacy code that was not written with test-driven development. And, uh, what was great about this is it was my first time doing a, a coding workshop in person since, uh, the phrase I, I saw someone else use and I thought, I like that. I'm going to adopt it since before the plague. So what this meant was that the way I like to teach, actually the way I like to code period, but teaching is where, where I got introduced to it, uh, is in an ensemble, everyone coding together. And that can be a little tricky to do online. It's not undoable by any means. It's what I've done for the last however long, but in person, it's so much easier, um, to, because rotation is so much quicker. All you have to do is everyone say, as I, as I say, rotate, and everyone stands up and shifts, uh, shifts to the right. Hey, Michaela. Hope you don't mind. It's your back. Nobody will recognize you. <laughs> so, so yeah, this, this was, oh, and we had a, a three minute timer and that may sound nuts, but it kind of works, right? It really does work. So it was a lot of fun. And the conference was great. <laughs> All right. Dragon Dust, I feel like... Well, I'll get to know you later. Ah, yeah. It's... Coding, coding together is such a blast. That's what, what Grant says. All right, we are here to, it is so good to have um, this uh, discovery tree because it's a means of communication. In, in our case, it's basically you know, it gives me context immediately 
when I've been, haven't thought about this in a couple of weeks now to go, what the heck are we doing and where are we? Oh, okay. If we look at, at the legend, we've got things in that are completed in progress to do anything that's blocked, uh, parent work item, um, punting short, short time, short term memory. Uh, short term is why I have a whiteboard right down here. Um, anything to punt and any notes. And we've gone through and done a lot of non... Uh, well, we did spent a lot of time on project setup, but now we are actually working on... <laughs> I will not be here, Michaela. I'm, I'm going to be out of town again. Bummer. Yeah. It's really good spending time with you at, uh, at the, in the UK though. What, wouldn't you say that was a great venue, uh, for, for Swift UK? It was such a great place. Yeah. The only reason I'm, I'm glad to, you know, um, I, I, I never even try to get a ticket anymore, mainly, mainly because I think it would create problems from my employer. <laughs> um, and yet I enjoy being in San Jose and going to hang out with people. Um, yeah, yeah, Michaela, you do that. Um, oh, I should mention, do, do, do. Um, Daniel says he's, he hangs out, uh, all week. So anyone who wants to catch up with Daniel Steinberg, uh, here in San Jose during dub dub, just give him a shout. He'll be around the keynotes opening by Daniel and closing by, by Jessa, Jesse Tron, Jessica were amazing. I mean, really fabulous. All right, we are working on Mastermind. And our current um, very thin sliced version. Eric! Oh my gosh! Welcome! Oh, I'm glad to have you! Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, there are more, more folks in the chat. Say hello. Um, mastermind. <laughs> it is close. Do, do, do. So I'm copying this app. I'm not going to publish it. Um, I'm just using it as, as a guideline. And I just took a screenshot here to make it a little easier for me. Um, we have in regular mastermind, right? You make guesses about the secret code of colors and then you check the guesses and then you get hints back. Pardon me a second. And so our vertical slice of this, our, our story slicing is to say, let's not, let's not have multiple rounds. You only get one round. Let's not have multiple guesses. You only get one slot. And unfortunately, right now, it's hard to tell the guess from the, uh, basically where to guess from the thing, the thing you click to guess. Right now, it looks like that. Clicking that sets this to blue. So where are we? We are... We need styling to separate, uh, I mean, th this, this is just, this is horrible UI, right? Or UX. We need some styling here. So let's do it. Let's do a little bit before, before we go on and add the second, uh, color you can use to guess. All right. 
Yeah, no, 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 no. Now, I'm gonna cheat. Oh, I also uh, added, did spend a little bit of time because uh, it's tricky to do this during the stream with my display settings. I got uh, some colors. We'll use those. The background color doesn't match, right? Now it seems to be like very white. So let's take this and and what I can I mean I can just do flap that in, I suppose, here. Two to seven. Two, three, one, two, three, four. Go. Let me see it. Let me see it. There, that's it. That, that's a little darker. We need that so that uh, something else can happen. We want a white... Um, Yeah, I think I only sub digital. I think um, someone only showed me that trick like the last time I was streaming. So it's it's. Thank you for reminding me. It's still new to me. Um. But uh, we want a white. I I wanted to make it stand out. Yeah, let me try it. So you're saying Control M. Well, look at that. Ain't that nice. I'm going to, I want to do that again to try to get into muscle memory. One of the things about, um, by the way, feel free to talk about anything I may or may not, <laughs> right? Join you. Feel free to, to contribute stuff. I love this. And, um, and I yammer uh, not just about the code. I, I go on and talk about like, try to get a little bit meta from time to time. And the thing I want to discuss right now is that to learn a keyboard shortcut, you'll have to do it again and again. Um, so I just undid it so that I can do it again. So I can try to get it in my head. And, um, or within parents, great. Um, somehow, I've been able to keep my keyboard, like my muscle memory for both Xcode and app code in my fingers for, for a long time. So it can be done even for, even across multiple IDEs that don't have the same uh, key mapping. All right. So let's, you know, that's a good change, but I want to remember to do, um, micro commits. Trying to recall. Yeah, recall is definitely a, an important part of learning. You have to try. <laughs> you, have, you have to try to, to identify whether it's a house sparrow or a song sparrow. All right, let's see. Do, do, do. So that is... What is this uh, in the sort of the, the new version of Arlo's commit notation, which hasn't been fully published yet? Anything that's low risk starts with a dot. Anything that's medium risk starts with a dash. Anything that's high risk starts with an asterisk. So that is just a, uh, a feature change and I'd say that is low risk feature work um uh that's like a set background <laughs> now let us let's create let's create a visual distinction between sort of the 
the guessing area and the selection area. The selection area needs to have this rectangle, rounded, re rounded corners, and I'm going to cheat. Now, I, I, I want to be careful about cheating because um, I don't want to use AI to avoid learning. So you guys are, you folks are here to help me um, learn and, you know, you point, point me to stuff. So as I use some help here, hopefully we can, it's, it's, it's an assist, right? It's, it's magical autocomplete. Um, I don't want to just take stuff without understanding it. So let's say eh, the code choice view, uh, for the button label. Put the circle inside a um, white rectangle with rounded corners. Go. See how it does. Ah, see, I don't think I would have known that there is a rounded rectangle type. Let's apply that. Yes. And padding. So what do we got here? Rounded rectangle, corner radius 10, fill. Well, let's see what it looks like. Uh, a frame to set specific size and an overlay. What is this? I don't need to do that, do I? I can I can get go to quick help. Does this work? Yeah, there. That's better. Oh, uh, it's deprecated? <laughs> yeah, AI is a tricky thing. You got to keep an eye on it. It's helpful when it's helpful, and it's not helpful when it's not helpful. So, you, you know, don't surrender to it. Um, doo -doo -doo. I'll come back to this deprecation in a second, but how does this look? How do I feel about it? Is there no way to move this? Come on, I want to move it. I want to see the whole thing. It look I it's hard to tell. It's all, I can't tell if the rounded rectangle, if that's uh, really even, or if it's rounding only the corners, I hope. Right now, due to an optical illusion, it's filling the whole thing. So, um, yeah, definitely something to be careful of. <laughs> Remember, Michaela, in the middle of uh, our workshop, we were wrestling with the uh, decimal type and uh, tried to use Copilot, and we got an answer, and everyone and and it looked great. The answer looked great, and we're like, okay, cool, let's a uh, let's try it, and it was making crap up. Hopefully, I can click anywhere within this area. Okay, that still works. Um, let's come back to that. But right now, 
<laughs> yeah, lost a bit of time there. And I fixed up the uh, exercise so that we, I don't do that again. Uh, let us add some padding here. Where would the padding go? Would it go here? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's take padding five. There we go. That looks... There we go. Now, I think the uh, circle was fooling my eye and causing the rest of the rectangle to, to be rounded. <laughs> Man, that was an annoying decimal. Thing. All right, and let's also try... How do I feel about this? How do I feel about the size? Be a little bigger just for now. I don't know. I'm just I'm just fooling around right now, right? And um the thing about styling is you notice I'm not TDDing this. Don't TDD style. <laughs> style is something you want to see to say, eh, does this look good? Does this look right? It really requires uh, judgment, fudging, um, and is not the kind of thing that I want to write tests for beforehand. If it looks good, it looks good. Can we set the padding using percent? How do you do that? I'm just making stuff up here. Oh, look at that. Well, I think that was a hallucination. Or, or does it? Yeah, that's a hallucination. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back to this. Okay. So for percentage, you need the geometry reader. which is overkill at this point. So let's stick with this. Um, let me make this smaller and I'm just gonna add some, uh... should the frame be a certain size? Uh, let me show you what I'm suddenly getting all tied up on. The button label... Duh, 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 duh. Right, that's, that's not quite right. I want the... Or maybe it is. No? I was worried that, like, the, the, this circle needs, needs to match this circle, but th uh, this is already different. We need to come back here. Snapshot testing. Oh, did I miss a comment? Inset circle. What the hell is an inset inset circle? Is it not going to give me uh, anything to go on until I get it um, syntactically correct? I don't want to do that. Uh, what's the CI/CD I'm using for this project? Uh, 
Hmm. Oh, okay. Thank you. Interesting. Thanks. Uh, we're not using... I, I decided not to, for this, actually, <laughs> I haven't set up a uh, deployment. I'm only using GitHub Actions for uh, for the testing. I'm not actually set up the deploy. That was on the sort of the first round of what app am I making anyway? The old Git uh, inbox idea, and we went with this instead. Anyway, this is an improvement for sure. I mean, let's work. This also needs to be a different color to start with, not red. But it's already better, so I want to commit it. Good to know. Um, start to style. Uh, circles differently. And I forgot I should push. It's part of the game here. So it's better. Um, let's work on... Let me go back to the mirror. Styling to separate guests from picker. Yes, but I also want to... Um, set... Uh, show target as... Empty, not red. Right now it's coming up red. And I want instead want to show it at, with the unselected color here. Should we add a spacer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to. Oh, thank you, my shark. Sheesh. I appreciate it so much. You've been part of my streaming forever, and I feel like I should subscribe to you for having <laughs> for having you here. Um, I appreciate it. Let's do, do, do. let's see what we want it to look like. So I want a this outline. What the heck is this color? Is it the same as that? I'll just use it as the same for now. Um, so I want an outline color. Kind of a ring. Two circles. Right? Let's do this. We can take this a step at a time. Right now, it is simply red. Oh, and I've got... I want to improve the formatting. How do I hide the canvas? Option command. Okay. Uh, formatting is all over the place, and I haven't set up... Um, Swift format. On a different project, I only just set up Swift format because usually it's been nice. Uh, usually it's been me and Llewellyn working together with me as the sole typist. So it hasn't been an issue until recently when we had a pull request and the styling was like all over the map. And I'm like, oh no. So I don't feel a great need to do um a whole lot but let's ooh See, i'm not sure i like that 
but I mean, is it better? Is it worse? It seems awfully spread out now if I do a control M like this. Hmm. It kind of makes me want Swift format instead where I can control it a bit more by, you know, choosing the settings I want. So, how, how do you approach this, uh, Do you, how do you like to do this? I mean, that seems like a clear thing. Only on inner ones. Thank you. Got an extra crazy blank line there. Um, I guess that's, that's all I need. Option command enter. Option command enter. I'm going. You're watching me learn keystrokes live. And this old app coder needs to learn new Xcode tricks. Oh, apologies. Subdigital. I'm. Um. I need to add you to the blessed list. Um. You, you just got spanked. Um, so sorry about that. I'll get you in for next time. I don't want to muck with it right now. You can just... Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> First set each method on a new line. Only if the line gets too big. Put the params in different lines. makes sense something else that you know people do with like all this indenting is to give up and say well then let's use two space uh tabs or indents uh rather than four and i'm like i think that'll just encourage that 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 just acts as deodorant kind of like remember comment deodorant michaela um, I think I think using smaller tabs is another form of deodorant for for avoiding the um, the the smell of you ought to really pull stuff out. It shouldn't go like have the uh, pyramid of doom um, with uh, with indents, you know. And at some point we will, but not yet. <laughs> um yeah so that's that's really again it's low risk uh it wasn't fully automated so hmm but it looked okay Since it wasn't fully automated, I'm going to call it a refactoring. Uh, da, 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 da. Where am I? Oh, yes. We are here. This is why... Uh, um, one, of the, one of the nice things about discovery trees and about test-driven development, it's really good, as it turns out, for uh, folks... Um, who have, whose minds are very flighty, like if you're uh, ADHD, even if you're not ADHD, if you're just like, I don't know, a normal, <laughs> non-neurodivergent um, person, but every mind can, can get flighty. Um, having something, having ec an external marker to say, here's what we're working on. <laughs> Neurotypical. Thank you for the word. Um, lucky. I like that too. Um, but we are lucky to have all kinds of folks, right? Easily distracted. 
<laughs> um, the slides, yes, it, it is a Miro board, and unfortunately, it is uh, proprietary. I can, you did, you took good notes. I think your notes are probably um, better than, than anything. If you have any questions, Michaela, just ask and I'll share it privately, uh, something with you, okay? Any holes you want to fill in. All right, show target as empty. So let's do that. What, how does this start as red? There it is. So we have, if there is a guess, show its color. Ooh, you know, this, this is, this is gross. We don't have an action in case you're wondering, um, what this, what this, what tapping here does. Nothing yet. There will come a time when we want to be able to, here, I'll show you in the real game. When uh, we want to be able to say, instead of just like, this goes in here and this goes in here, you want to say, I, I want, I'm going to make a guess about that last peg, like that. So there is a there is the ability. Oh, I didn't realize that that cleared it. Learn something new. All right, so it still does have actions, but we're just not using those yet. Oh, the app has its sound effects. I can't hear them <laughs> because of how I have uh, my OBS set up. Have we broken our tests with these changes? Let's find out. And I didn't warm it up, but thank somebody at Apple who that, that first time launch of tests finally, finally did improve for me. So, Let's change this now. And now let's change it to say, mm, well, is it the foreground color? It's not really red that we want. It is uh, unselected. Let's define an unselected color. To that, go. So if I change this to unselected, that is a change in behavior. And that will, come on, that will break the tests because there is a test for that. Oh, didn't. Why? In fact, why the hell didn't it? Uh... I don't have a test for that. That's okay. Because the uh, we have one test right now. And the only test is that tapping this sets it to sets it to blue. Okay. So that this is a pure styling change. Now, I wouldn't call it a plot hole. I would say this is pure, at this point, it's just styling. So it's okay. Is there a way to restart the preview to say, go back to like where, we, where you were before? Command option P. Thank you, my friends. Okay, so unselected, better, so uh, Vutur, this is, this is my code copying somebody else's app, and I promise, um, 
not to uh, publish it because I'm, I'm not here to rip off somebody else's app. But I want to basically use, uh, use it as a guide to say, let's um, do test-driven development for this. All right, so this is this is again a styling thing, which I still think is a is a low low risk. Uh, Mark, you use unselected color. Good enough. All right, let's let's get it to look. Yeah, it was okay. I I don't need a test. Um. For what was it before? Especially as I'm now going to change what it looks like. We've got we've got two circles. Well, let's see. Kind of looking here at before it's selected. Uh, this is going to be interesting. But let's for now have a circle within a circle. Yes, dot means low risk. Dot dash star. Dot dash star or risk. We can assess the risk. You can see where where I, I switched the order to the new style to, because that is the main purpose of this commit notation. Let's do um, a circle within a circle, I guess. Yeah, something like that, Dragon Dust. Uh, two states. Do, do, do. Let me try to get there in smaller steps, though. Let me first ignore the existence of this thing. Or now. Oh, or or ignore the, the change in size, maybe. And say, let's... Yeah, that. Let's do that. And by ignore, I mean defer. Right, we're gonna put it off and try to get there in super small steps. How will cursor do this? Hello. What's what's cursor all wigged out about? I don't know. Stroke border. Thank you. Let's see. Code choice. One thing I'm wondering, uh, where I'm pausing right now, is that we want to make changes to this first thing, right? And it feels like I kind of want to extract it first. You know, this whole indent thing. Avoid it. <laughs> next time, next time. If you <laughs> This is what you get. You know, um <laughs> I kind of want to see will it how how um chat will do <laughs> I 
I hope it doesn't ban you. Um, but again, to make it easy for chat to work with, I, I feel like it's time to extract it. Let's do that. Let us extract this part. And what, it's not going to give me a chance to name it? You sucker. Uh, I'm trying to get the keystrokes. Um, and guess one, it doesn't know what that is. Oh, that is out here. So that's going to have to come in as a binding. And it could, I kind of wish it figured that out. Oh, well. <laughs> we'll do it by hand. We'll do it live. So we want the binding of a guess one. Which is a code peg? Oh, I see. I'm like, what the heck is that? I have not making a note to check it out later. Code edit. I'm going to do it like this. Does it have, oh yeah, it's optional first. All right, so let's, let's do it like that. Or it is guess one. And now this has to come in and say, <laughs> no. Subdigital is the only one who who cannot. Well, yeah. I'm kind of curious right now. Mm, another one. Oh. Check it out. I mean, that was part of my talk uh, at Swiftcraft was what, um, you know, what, uh, what IDEs do we have? Yes, I do want to rename it. The subdigital. Oh, uh, da, 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 da. You're, you're distracting me and getting me to my talk. So the, the LSP is um, like, yeah, we can, we can submit changes. I don't know if you saw that, um, post from, uh, Codify that we, um, it is gaining refactoring ability. Yes. So that's very exciting to me. And I hope it opens up. We, um, shoot, where was that? <laughs> Am I going to bring up my uh, my presentation here? I don't want to bring up my presentation, but uh, there is... Uh, oh, I can go to... Hang on, hang on, hang on. we go. Oh, come on. Yes. There. 
Check it out. Super exciting announcement. I, I thought it was exciting. Uh, we'll do some refactoring, uh, some renaming here, but right now we're just trying to get to where it is working because this is this is all kind of janky right now. Good one, Eric. We will get there. Keystrokes. I'm learning. Okay, so, you know, the size is horrible, but it looks like... Actually, I don't, I don't even need to run it. I'm going to let the tests tell me. Test succeeds. So I trust that extraction. Um, and if you don't believe me, I'm going to tap this and it's going to turn this blue. But my test already checks that. See? Want to see the test? <laughs> For those of you who haven't been here before. Here it is. Uh, game screen. Get the color. Uh, assert. Ah, here's our assertion. The only assertion was that it wasn't already the selected color. Uh, and then I have a helper that says, find this thing and tap it, get the color, and it should be the color of the, the peg we tapped. Let's, so this is a decent extract. Hmm, now there's a good question, Michaela. Let me, um, let me get this in first. This is a test supported refactoring. It was not automated. Uh, so, to Michaela's question recommended way to organize tests, and this is something I've been wanting to get into. When but maybe not right away. Um, when you set up a project, you get all your app code and all your test code. And that's... For an app, I don't like it. <laughs> it's the default, and I really want a test folder inside of here that's got the game screen tests. Something I'd like to do. In fact, let's make a note of that. Right here, just as an idea. Um, move tests closer. It's just a it's just a thought right now. Look at this. Posting forbidden. Uh, <laughs> forbidden links that they, they don't even work what the hell man <laughs> okay <laughs> well i'm gonna treat it it treated it as a url somehow so <laughs> yeah the, things like the structure i want to I want to grow. I want to discover them. I want to let it evolve rather than come down and say, this is where it is and this is where it goes uh, and determine everything up front. It's a good way to work. All right, let's do some renaming here now. Command. Lovely. Also, Here's one thing that, um, <laughs> one, 
when 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 I'm see other people code, normally they have like everything open. It's like ah. Now, granted, I've got I've got this my display sized well smaller uh, and my font bigger to make it a better experience for folks, especially uh, some people watch this on their phones. Um, but I'm like, command option zero, command zero, get rid of those things, hide stuff, hide the noise. Let's, uh, let's improve our names here. So that is guess. And that's just a simple rename, so that should be fine. Good. And that finally is an automated thing. Hooray. Uh, let's rename this. So if we have the code choice view, okay, we need to look at kind of dancing around terms here. And we spent some time on domain language by doing the story mapping. So let's see what we have. By the way, I can share this uh, mural with you if you're ever interested. Um, round code breaker submits, constructs the guess. So even <laughs> renaming is like the only um, thing that I, I really trust Xcode to do most of the time. And that's why I have the, uh, the key binding set up so that I, I can do it quickly. I did learn, uh, someone came up after my talk as I was like, you know, to, to avoid having to, um, come down here and go like this, uh, set up a key binding. And he said, well, you know, there's this other thing I didn't know. I didn't know that there was a command palette like other IDEs have. I was unaware of this in Xcode. That is uh, what was it called? Action? Quick actions. I don't know. Project wide seems to work better. I mean, it seems to work okay. Maybe I've just been lucky so far. Is it that new? I was unaware of it. It it's it honestly it feels like a different IDE, which is good. It's like great. I I love uh seeing Xcode improve and what will they announce? We all want to know. I am especially especially hopeful. Um Okay, slight divergence that we will get an announcement of the uh, the new Swift testing framework that will be able to start using it without, you know, having to jump through crazy hoops where you create your own build chain and stuff. Yeah, I'm excited. It's like the most excited I've been for a dub dub in years. Uh, a phantom. <laughs> oh, has he? Uh, for those of you who don't follow Bill Wake, check him out on Twitch. <laughs> Jeez, you almost made me spit out my coffee. All right, so trying to come up with a code choice view. This is like a code guess view. Let's let's do some renaming here. Let's do some renaming. It 
It's better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you, Grant. Um, oh, no. What is the odd syntax highlighting it, highlighting it didn't do? Xcode is normally really on top of syntax highlighting, and it seems like there's a, a bug that the rename... <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever. Um, anyway, it's... Oh, there it goes. I just had to run tests. <laughs> All right. And if you get tired of that, I can just say, wait, no, I get confused. I'm still learning the new, new, uh, new um format here test supported procedural no that was automated there we go rename uh push Okay, so, you know, it's better. The Doing the extract is helpful. I just wish it were a little more, Xcode were a little more helpful about not just yanking code or random code around that it could supply the binding for us. But it worked. We've got the code guess view and the code choice view. Could those be better? Probably. Are they better than they were? Definitely. So that's progress. You know, um, now that I'm coding a little longer, I know um, we've increased this from 60 to 90 minutes, and I'm drinking a lot of coffee. It is the scout roll. Make it a little better. I will be right back. Just give me a couple minutes here. Bill Wake. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. It's better. Extracting is good. Now that it's extracted, I think we can get a little... It would be easier to work with and to change and to style. Um... Aha, I'm doing it. You're getting some keystrokes in me. Uh, <laughs> well, that size is ginormous, which is funny. Um, wait, why is it red? I thought I changed it to the unselected color. Did I not? What the hell? I did. Oops. How did that go? Uh, how did that happen? Holy moly. I didn't notice. Look at this. This is the before code, which had unselected color. And X code extracted it as the, the previous 
thing. Man, that seems super scary to me. It's so sketch. See that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no, I was not expecting that. <laughs> yeah. Wow, y you know, and that's, that was not behavior that is tested because it's simply styling, but, come on, you know, there could be a test for it, I'm not sure we want to, at least not yet, but, oh, gee, that just gives I mean, all sorts of weird feelings and, and the whole thing of, like, tools you can't trust. Man, this. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, where's the frame? <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Look, subdigital. So this is this is the uh, uh, this is the extract view that I did, and here's what it pulled out with a foreground color of if there is no guess. Um, use the unselected color and a frame of 100 100 and those things went away and it was like the previous code before that it decided to extract not what was there but what used to be there okay so maybe there's still a place for um for snapshot testing in in small doses <laughs> wow <laughs> i am gonna capture this window here i want to jeez that is some crazy stuff Wow, well, <laughs> and it there. Where the heck's unselected color? Did I, or, or did I accidentally revert something? Maybe, no, it says it right there. <laughs> oh, this is humorous. I, I laugh so I don't cry. I am crying a little bit. Holy crap. It's like going... <laughs> going from here, going from here to here, lost information. Yeah, I, I, I'm super curious. What the heck? Oops. Yeah, look. It, 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 it dropped off the unselected color.
I mean, I didn't do that, did I? We'll find out. We'll, we'll, we'll rewatch it. <laughs> the heck? Oh my gosh. And... What's it mad about now? Circle. Circle's gone. That's what, that's what, uh... uh I must have wiped it out by mistake. Right. Oops. Hello, hello. Why does this look so janky? That is a reason um, not to squash the commits, like we said, Michaela, uh, in our little conversation. Oh, God, this thing. I am okay. I don't know. It's sh... I don't know what happened. Yep. Yeah, we'll 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 have to um, pass in proper IDs and stuff when we have a second place to guess. Right now, there's only one, and so. You know, what do we do with that? I defer it. I keep it as as a static until I feel the need to make it otherwise. Wow. No, I'm just boggled and I'm going to rewatch everything. What happened to the padding? Where did anything go? I'm just ready to quit right now. This is... So... Bizarre. Padding 10. <laughs> oh, man. Paddington. So, yeah, Eric, uh, let's have a look at the tests. Yep, guess one is right there for now. Again, all these things, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Man. <laughs> Well, that one is the wrong padding. Oh, man. My head. My head, my head, my head. Oi, oi, oi. Ah. 
I just don't know what. Uh, you know, in my talk, uh, talked about like crafting and using tools, and and I didn't really. I I don't think I called it out, but explicitly, but that uh, uh, part of part of being a crafter is using getting better at your tools having better tools we didn't talk about whether or not you can trust the tools wow is this what y'all have been living in this is just like Good question. And I think I have it turned off. I definitely have it turned off because because my my Xcode TCR scripts pop up an alert. <laughs> ah. Fix weird um, uh, code lost in eh. e. How's your day going? <laughs> well, that was that was different. Okay, now I'm still trying to get to, and this will be the last thing we do today. of dismiss oh 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 really i like i like your phrasing unholy mix <laughs> all right let's let's get some let's get some styling Right? Very cool. I'm going to have to catch up on what you're doing. Um, let's have two circles. We won't have a small one. We'll have, we'll, I'm slicing it to have a big one on the inside. With, look at this. This looks off. Does, I don't, I think this is not aligned. It seems a little high. The 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 this inner circle is higher, right? I'm not crazy. <laughs> well, I'm definitely not copying that. Um Okay, now I want to ask cursor again command shift four oh to to get a um mm -hmm. i have not um yeah i haven't gotten x scope i see people um like you praising it Maybe it's something I ought to look into. Nice. All right, let's ask um, change code guess view so that the button label, I want to be clear, I want to make sure that it stays inside the label has two concentric circles 
one on the inside showing the guess color and one on the outside showing a um what do you call it a stroke stroke of uh what color Unselected, All right? Let's see what it does. Really? Oh, okay. I was like, where's the second circle? All right, let's apply it. And maybe, wow. Oh, I remember. I think it wasn't Xcode. I think I came back to cursor and saw some previous changes and I'm like, what the heck is this? And I reverted those changes. Driver error. Like, why is it bringing this stuff back? I think this this is a cursor bug. No, nah, no. Nah. I mean, because I already made these changes. So why is it showing you? Is it because it didn't make the changes? Okay. I feel better. Xcode, come back. All is forgiven. Cursor. Yes, it's two battling editors that um, have their own things. My bad. All is well. All is forgiven. I, I no longer trust how this is working, so I'm going to come back here. Oh, did it already make the change? Yeah, I'd already made the change. Oh, man. See. What the heck? I don't trust it. Get reset hard head. That is not what I want. Battling editors. This has never been a problem before. Except Xcode could, uh, I'm, I'm used to Xcode losing its mind. Um, and that they've improved because they acknowledge that there are tools outside of Xcode that you use to make code changes. Um, but this is not cutting it. We're going to have to do this by hand. Come back. Come on, let's do this. Shame. Well, this has been fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's super important. And I I want to um grr, get reset hard head. I I want to make a note of this uh quick before we forget. Um, beware of battling IDEs. Uh, yeah. 
Two editors maintaining state of this file. Just calling that out there as the big, the big thing. Uh, come back to it. The question is, can we do this real fast? Probably. All right, let's let's do it together. <laughs> right? Did it accelerate me? Mm. <laughs> All right, we've got. A circle. How can I do this? I can use a Z stacked, a couple of circles, Z stacked. Will that work? I'm trying to learn to do this. Embed in Z stack, right? And that should be fine. So we have one circle on the outside with a stroke and it's another circle on the inside overlay. Let me try that. Hmm. Again, with the overlay. This is not the first time, right? Yeah. And again, with the... We do have this... It, it's not giving us a warning. But we saw this before, that it's deprecated. But... That is, that is more like what I want. Uh, there's an overlay. Like, what happens here? Okay, good. But I want to. Isn't it centered? Padding to the circle inside. Thank you. And the circle inside. Oops. Not there. <laughs> Unexpected. There we go. All right, so let's change this now to uh, the unselected color. There we go. Question is, did I just break any tests? I didn't. This, that's really interesting and helpful and, a, and a, one good reason. So we were talking about like stroke modifier. Um, you know, I was thinking it could be a Z stack. Uh, that would have required a change in the, um, in the tests. 
And it's okay, I don't mind changing tests. But I didn't have to. Stroke modifier can be applied right after the padding. Well, let's get it in. Wow. <laughs> mm. uh, this is a uh, show. Stroke. All right. Oh, wait. I, I kind of wanted to see, Eric, your idea. By the way, it's really nice to meet you. Um, seems like this overlay is ridiculous. And stroke modifier can be applied right after the padding. I don't know. I don't know what that looks like. All in all, I'm inclined to keep it right after Eric's. Why you can't do that? Okay. Stroke cannot be applied there because the return type... I see. So this is not a shape. This is a shape. This is not a shape. Thank you. Well, that's good. This has been a good time. I think that is going to be a wrap. Uh, what else do we want to say here? Other than um, this one. Let's, let's do real quick retro to wrap up. Um... Anything else? Any, any, I mean, this was the, uh, this was the big one here. And maybe that's all, maybe that's the big one I need. Yeah. All right. Well, um, thanks for coming. Oh, uh, add colors. I'm going to put that here in, in the notes. That's a good idea. I kind of forgot that there was such a thing. Thank you for that. All right. Well, uh, next week, like I said at the beginning, I will be off again, traveling again, this time personal. Um, but then I'll be back and I'll settle down for the summer and hopefully we'll get some more coding under our belts. And I really appreciate you all stepping in um, and teaching me new keystrokes, new things, new concepts, um, uh, learning together about the scariness of having two IDEs battling about their state, that there's risk there. Um, so I'll see you in, in two weeks. This was a lot of fun. It was really good. Um, for folks who are watching after the fact uh, on YouTube, um, if you've made it this far, hey, give it give it a like. And uh, that is it. This was a 
great to have um, folks come by and uh, we'll see you next time two weeks from now take care bye-bye